everybody. Welcome to Wednesday Chapel. My name is Miss Danielle and I teach second grade here. Uh, we are in a new month. It is November. Last month, the month of October, we learned all about how good leaders exercise integrity. We talked about what that looked like and what that means for us. And this month, we have a new theme, a new monthly focus. This month, we are going to talk about positivity. We're going to talk about how good leaders spread positivity with their words, with their actions, and with their thoughts. This week, we're just going to focus on how good leaders spread positivity with their words. The Bible has a lot to say about our words and how we should use our words in a positive way. I have a couple scriptures here that I'm going to read for you to show you what the Bible says about our words. Ephesians 4 verse 29 says, Let no unwholesome words come out of your mouth, but only what is good for building up as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear it. Matthew 12, 36 says, I tell you, on the day of judgment, people will give an account for every careless word they speak. Proverbs 16, 24 says, Gracious words are like honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. James 1, 26 says, If anyone thinks he's religious and does not control his tongue, but deceives his heart, this person's religious religion is worthless. Colossians 4, 6, let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. In Matthew 15, 18, but what comes out of our mouths proceeds from the heart, and this defiles a person. These are just a handful of verses that are about this, but there are so many more verses that talk about our words and the effect that our words have. My big kids, so third grade through middle school, I challenge you guys to go find some more verses about how our words are powerful. It's clear just from the verses that I read that God really cares about the things that come out of our mouth, right? Right? Yeah, there were six verses right there, and that was just a few of them. God really cares about what comes out of our mouth because he says that our words have the power to build people up, but also the power to tear people down. I'm sure that you guys have heard that before, that your words have the power to build people up and tear people down. I think that if we are honest with ourselves, if we exercise integrity when we look at our own lives, we know that we're not perfect in this area. And we know that we all have room to grow, that we've all said things we wish that we would not have said to people before. Um, and I think that today we'll have some time to confess to God and just say, I have failed at this before, God, but I know that you are going to help me in the future. So we just need to ask God for forgiveness and move on and, and start making some positive choices with our words. Because we want to be the people that speak life into others. I have this beautiful plant here behind me. It's a succulent. Very pretty. What would happen to that beautiful plant if I gave it, let's say, hot coffee every morning? What do you think? Discuss with your class. Do you think that would be a good choice for our plant to grow? Probably not. I mean, maybe we could do a science experiment and really test that theory. Um, but I don't think that coffee is the best uh, choice to give to our plant to grow. The best choice, I think, would be water. Water is very life-giving. We all need water. Plants need water to survive. <clears throat> and plants use water and sunlight to grow. We, if we want to grow, if we want to help other people to grow, we need to be giving them life-giving words. So if we want this plant to grow, we're going to give it life-giving elements like water and sunlight. And if we want other people around us to grow, we want to give them life-giving words, not words that are going to tear them down. We want to be the people that take every opportunity to speak life-giving words to people. Good godly leaders, when they fail at this, when we don't do this well, 
We ask for forgiveness from the person that we've used unkind words toward, and we ask for forgiveness from God. Then we try again. We used kind words the next opportunity that we have. Your words have power, little friends. Right now, we're going to uh, see an example of how permanent our words are. You guys are gonna do a little experiment in your classroom with your teacher. And along with this activity, there comes a challenge. I would like you to talk about this challenge with your teacher. Your teacher will tell you the next steps. And I want you to remember how much God loves you, how much God cares about what comes out of our mouths and that he wants good for you. We're going to pray right now then we're going to listen to our chapel song about speaking life. And then we are going to complete our activity with our teacher. Let's pray. God, we just admit to you that sometimes we don't choose words that are going to be uplifting to other people. Sometimes it's easy when we feel angry or we're embarrassed or we're having all different kinds of emotions to choose words that are fueled by those emotions. I pray that you would give us the strength and the patience and the power to choose words that are going to be life-giving to others, even when it's hard, even when the circumstance would make it easy for us to make a bad choice. Help us to make a good choice. I pray for all of our little friends today. I pray that you would help them to uh, speak life to their friends, to speak life to their family, to speak life to themselves in the way that they think. We pray for all of this month as we start studying positivity and what you have to say about that, that you would show us in your word how you would like us to live and that we would be changed because of that. We love you, Lord. Thank you so much for this time in chapel. Bless this time as we sing to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I hope you guys have a great Wednesday and I hope you enjoy the song and the activity. See you around. Bye.